This week, desire paths. Tiny houses. And she's sitting on the other side of the table. This is the front page. Welcome to the front page, the show where we go over a bunch of stories from Reddit.com. I'm Samantha Garcia. And I'm Lewis Allen. Oh my god, you guys. I'm sitting on the other side of the table. It's kind of freaking me out. Uh, Lewis, I want to thank you for joining me today. No, well, thanks for having me. Yeah, I've been sort of trolling around the internet for so long that all of it seems pretty old at this point. Oh no, I so hope you haven't heard these stories before. That's what I'm looking forward to. Well, let's, let's jump right in it. Yeah. This first story is uh, submitted by Uza to the subreddit Art. We like art here on the, okay. on the front page. Uh, and it's, I draw tiny houses. Look at that. Tiny houses. Okay. Are you a fan of the tiny house movement? I am just sort of picking up on it. Mm-hmm. Going through the Netflix queue and there's like three or four shows just about tiny houses. Yeah. All over the world. I kind of don't understand it myself, but I enjoy drawings of tiny houses. Yeah. I think they're adorable. Look at these. They're just so cute. Oh, it is I want cute. this apartment, this one up here in the corner. Yeah. I think that is super cute. Oh. That's lovely. They got so many styles. Yes. It's just like, how can we make any kind of house just the coziest thing you've ever seen? Mm-hmm. I think people uh, miss being like swaddled, maybe. Yeah. And this way they can be held by their home. Okay. That's my theory. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it. Mm-hmm. I'm sort of a big baby myself. Are you? Yeah. How? I what makes you say that? Cry myself to sleep most nights. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's so sad. I do my best. Of these, which which one of these would you like to have in real life? Uh, having only seen them for the first time just now. Having only seen them for the first time, I'm really liking that second one down, that castle guy. This one? On the right or the left? Uh, on the left. On the left. That's quite nice. Yeah. Because the other ones, you know, they look a little bit more precarious. But that guy's got mm. a nice little ridge. I see. Second floor, two spires, so... Easy to defend. Easy to defend. It's not going to fall off a cliff. Not Yeah, you don't have to worry about dragons as much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a real concern. It is, it is. When you're having, uh, you know, mystical house issues. Mystical house issues. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hashtag yeah. mystical house issues. <laughs> Make it happen, friends. Well, I just wanted to start off with something light, okay. bubbly. Because, uh, yeah, tiny houses are super cute. This, I, I've looked at these things several times, and every time I look at them, I'm just like, this is so cute, I can't it. <laughs> so you're starting off with something light. Does that mean we're going to take a dark turn here? Um, this, is, this was submitted to by Black Riot to subreddit Pix, uh, entitled, Sometimes You Just Want to Float Away. Too dark. Too, Too dark. dark. Yeah, no, you're, you're right about that. <laughs> what a juxtaposition. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Now, I'm figuring out where the line is. Yeah. And that's... And that's where the line... Past the line. Yeah, past the line. Mm-hmm. But... Good to know. Good picture. Yep. I, I, I would say that that does qualify as art. Yeah. Yeah. It was a picture. Yeah, it was a picture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Boom! This one is called Kids. So this, it just sort of goes over and over again. Kids playing with lightsabers. And then, what, what is this? Is that a force push or lightning? Duh, lightning. Oh, of course! <laughs> and this kid just rolls with it. And it's just like, yep. Wow. To the casual observer, it looks like this. But to them, it looks like this. Which I think is just lovely. It is. It takes me back. What was your favorite child times playing pretend? Playing pretend with the neighborhood kids. Sonic the Hedgehog. Really? Yeah, that was big at that point. We all pretended to be different characters from Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm-hmm. I was always Tails. That's the sidekick? That was the the flying fox guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good times. But mm-hmm. uh, Star Wars is probably much cooler. I don't know. I feel like Star Wars was... I mean, Star Wars has always been a big thing. Right. Not saying Star Wars not a big thing. Right. But we did not have... Um, I mean, the, a, a new movie did not come out when I was a child. What, what was your big thing then? Oh, jeez. I don't even remember. <laughs> I re- I'm so old. So old I don't remember my own childhood. I don't believe that. <laughs> what are you hiding? I like it. I hope that they are both like uh, someday going to be uh, real theatrical artists of some kind. Yeah. Because I feel like that's what we do now. We just do this as adults now. Yeah. Yep. For a living. Mm-hmm. To pay for money. Yeah. Do it, kid. Arts degree. Boom. <laughs> Submitted by Wagam Wagamaga. Okay. I think that's how that's pronounced. Uh, to subreddit called World News. Uh, we're gonna get serious. We're gonna get real serious. Okay. Nope. Too dark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eat 
eat less meat to avoid dangerous global warming, scientists say. Uh, so as I read through this, it's basically all about if people ate less meat, then there would be less global warming. Like, it's so simple. <laughs> it is. Because all of the things that we have to do in order to keep all of these uh, various animals alive until we uh, chop them up and put them in a delicious sauce is uh, not great for the world. No, that's a lot of methane. Now, is this a proponent of completely ending meat? or So it says less meat. Yes. What is like yes. the recommended amount of meat? They go on to say that if you just follow like the, your normal dietary guidelines, like your various food pyramids and what have you, okay. then that's enough to make a huge difference. But it means like everybody in the world has to follow those guidelines. Fat chance. Yeah, probably not going to happen. Probably not going to happen. And even, even in the article, they say like, it'd be really nice if everyone went vegetarian. Uh, oddly, not a huge jump if everyone went vegan. Okay. Like, the jump between meat eaters to vegetarian, huge impact. The jump from vegetarian to vegan, tiny impact. Okay. Yeah. Which I was kind of like, oh, that's a little, that's an easier pill to swallow, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Still get your milk, still get your cheese. Yeah, I know people hate to give up that cheese. Yeah. It's difficult. They Lots say it's cheese, as addictive as heroin. They, that's what they say? Mm hmm Who's saying this? I a different article that I read. Okay. Yeah. I'll cheese is serious. Time. Yeah, next time I'm going to tell you all about how <laughs> cheese is bad. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, uh, as a vegetarian myself, I love reading these kinds of articles and be like, boom! Boom, people. Yeah. Gah! Social consciousness mm -hmm. on Reddit. Mm hmm It is possible. Yeah. I was I was vegan for about a year. Yes? And, oh, the, the vegetable cheese, surprisingly delicious. Mm hmm And real melty, too. Yeah. Melts perfectly. There have been leaps and bounds. Yeah. In the non-dairy cheese technology. <laughs> Unlike some cheeses I know. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what kind of uh, what kind of beef you have with cheeses, but. Uh, uh -huh. it back. Uh -huh. Link. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm a real comedic genius over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, everybody, just eat a little less meat. It's good for you. It's good for the environment. Yeah. Submitted by Mini Maxer. Okay. To the subreddit Data is Beautiful. This one made me kind of happy. I like it a lot. Uh, but the title of it was, uh, John Goodman is not the greatest supporting actor. It is the top means and medians of Rotten Tomato scores for movies starring... Wow, this is hard to read. The second build actors and actresses with at least 10 second billing movies. Okay. So that's a lot yeah. of statistics in one graph. And I am loving it. So what? Explain to me how how you come by this sort of information. This, this Rotten Tomatoes decided that this was something that everybody needed to know. I don't think Rotten Tomatoes put this, it together themselves. I think I think this mini maxer person did it herself. Put okay, it, put it together using the uh, information from IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. To say these are people who have been second build in more than ten films. And then how they are ranked, or how those movies are ranked according, how these people are ranked according to the Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. I don't understand at what point this person decided, this is a graph that I need to be able to look at. This is a snapshot of information that I must have. Right. So my, my question is, now, does this assume that their second billings um, in any given movie is the, the major effect for the rest of the quality of the movie? I don't think so. Okay. I think I'm a bit lost here. Okay. 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 So for instance, Kate Wins has been second build in at least 10 films. Right. I'm sure she's been top build in quite a few films as well, but that's not what we're interested in. Right. Right? And so then the average score of her films in which she is second build is what is that, like 75%? According to Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. So I think what we're trying to say here is Ingrid Bergman, best second build actor. Ever. Possibly, yes. And looks like best actual actor, too. Possibly. <laughs> it's possible. Go Miss Bergman. Mm-hmm. And then, like, Ben Kingsley. Like, what? What, what, what? John Goodman, why are you way down here? What's happening? What is happening? It's, it's, it's a little bit suspicious to me still. Oh, sure. Because, again, for both sides of the argument, it just says that their performance in whatever second build movie is responsible for its rating. Mm. Mm. And I know plenty of movies where, you know, your second build actor is like the best thing in it, but that can't save that movie. Yeah. 
I can't save it. I'm sure there are plenty of examples. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, like, um, um, what was that new one that just came out? Uh, the Last Witch Hunter. Which one was that? It just came out. It was starring Vin Diesel and Elijah Wood. What? I'm... Yeah. You... You're dropping some knowledge on me. I have no idea what this is. Happy to help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was just like, Elijah Wood did great, but he just doesn't save the fact that you've got Vin Diesel doing this bizarre fantasy role. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Elijah Wood's got that fantasy role thing Oh, he's locked lot. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's a pro. He's, yeah. All right. So um, it's a pretty graph, but probably inaccurate. Yeah. Submitted by Grilled Marshmallows to the subreddit Desire Path. Uh, okay. Number one, I didn't know what a Desire Path was, so I had to look that up. This is a good effort to stop this path in Columbus, Ohio. So as you may notice here, this is a picture of a median of some kind with a sign that clearly states, use crosswalk, do not walk here. Uh, the people have clearly walked through, even though there's a sign there saying, don't do that. This is my question. Why is there a tiny fence <laughs> over everywhere except that portion? Yeah. Like, I'm, if you don't want people to walk there, why not continue the tiny fence? You just need a little bit of extra chain there. Yeah. And your desire path would probably be a little less interesting. Mm-hmm. Unless people are, like, actively taking the chain down. It's like, oh. they really desire that path. Yeah. It's just the perfect cutaway. I suppose. Cut through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've, again, I feel like if the tiny fence were there people would space out their illegal walking. Right. And then it would not create a path. It would just be, it would be more spread out. Right. I, I, th I think there's something in there that people just don't read. Oh, it could be that. You know? Mm hmm People don't read things anymore, even if they're to their benefit. Mm hmm You walk up to a door and it says pull, but you still feel like it's a push door, so you push. Yeah. Even um, though it clearly states. Yeah. And I'm sure that there are a number of people who are just, like, sign blind because they think that that's for car signs or whatever. Mm, mm -hmm. And then they walk through. I find it interesting that this is one of the top trending things <laughs> on the internet right it was, now. Uh, it was way right up there. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I admit, I was just like, let's do random subreddit because I've never been on Reddit before. Let's see how these things work. And the Desire Path subreddit popped right up. And that's this was cool. up there. This was, like, number one. <laughs> for the 30 minutes that I was looking at that subreddit. <laughs> Desire paths are fascinating. Mm hmm And there's a lot of pictures very similar to this one. Okay. But this is the one that I found most compelling. Because it just, it's tiny fit. It's Your fix is right in there. <sighs> it bothers me. They just double down and make it a moat. Mm. Ooh. They should just rip out that whole median. Mm-hmm. Just moat. Moat. Done. Electric eels. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, we solved it submitted to the subreddit gifts by someone just named sucks i'm excited yeah and this is called on your mark get set no oh now i'm scared uh oh uh. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no this this just this moment here how oh. how does that physically happen oh, no. i don't understand how she fell <laughs> I just love how angry she is at the rest of the racers for leaving her behind. <laughs> well, I mean, they were they were running their best race that yeah, day. Yeah, they were doing their best. Yes. But I, her arms were like, mm -hmm. come on, people. And then you'll notice, yeah, so she's clearly upset. And then you'll notice this referee here is just like, go, go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're not stopping. You have to go. Oh. I and then can't. her just like, why? Why is this? Like, oh, man, it hurts, but I love it. I mean, that's like the end of this girl's high school career, right? Oh, I don't think she's running track and field anymore, no. Yeah, no, she's like, this has been all over the, some <laughs> people in the completely different state from her mm -hmm. now making fun of her. Probably, there's something we don't know, right? Such as what? What, what are we missing here? <laughs> I'm gonna analyze this video. I feel bad laughing at a child, but I can't stop. It's too funny. I, I'm laughing because I've been there before. Yes? Yeah. I'm sure. Would you like to times. share? Back in high school, for some reason, I played football. Uh-huh. Um, and I was mostly a bench warmer. And I think it was because of things like this. 
I was probably pretty prone to this sort of thing. Hmm. I feel like it'd be less uh, hilarious in a football setting, because those, I mean, footballers fall on a regular basis. Right. That's true. Yeah. But they usually don't trip themselves up. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's usually some impact with some other... Usually there's another person involved. (laughs) A collision of some kind. I gotta watch it again. It's just, it's too great. Boom. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, it hurts so much. Ow. Why is this happening to me? Maybe she's just been like practicing a long time Mm -hmm. like this is the big race yep and she got down there legs locked up yep cramps 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 oh yeah so yeah that one's that one's perfect i dig it yep i can't top it but i'm gonna try submitted by serial 007 okay to uplifting news Two days into adoption event, all rescued animals find homes. Yay! It was supposed to be a three-day event. They only needed two days to find all those animals' homes. This happened in Fayetteville, North Carolina. What made the difference? I don't know. They do not say. They do not state. Okay. But there were many, many uh, dogs and cats that were saved from another shelter where they were being treated poorly. And then they were all adopted into fabulous homes. This is true heartwarming stuff here. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. crazy. Every single one. Mm-hmm. All of them. And there were many. How many of them do you think took an animal home with them? Oh. We're like, oh, so many kitties that need a home. Yeah, they just like... I'll take f- one of these, and I'll take one of these. <laughs> Done. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's how they finish it up. Could be. Because I love animals, but there are a couple of pretty poopy animals here and there. The ones that are... <laughs> mean and Mm -hmm. bite you Mm -hmm. it was like certainly that there was a couple left over and they're like we got to get these numbers (laughs) (laughs) we're trying to break a record over here we're trying to break two days yeah yeah three days no two gotta do better we can do better yeah because if it taken all three days that would not be a story no it'd be like uh adoption event goes well (laughs) not a story successful adoption (laughs) event cool yes <laughs> but, but two days that's yeah well now good. these guys have nothing to do with their free time I, you know what i think they'll figure something out they'll figure something out. i have faith in them maybe they can just like move across the countryside doing whatever magic that they worked here yes at every single other place yes did you hear chicago is actually um a no-kill shelter town now are we yeah i just read it and i've got zero information about it well uh that's what we're all about here yeah (laughs) headlines this is my hot take no information go chicago (laughs) (laughs) well we've come to the end of the show there we are we did it we did it Mm Mm-hmm. ran through all the things all the things thanks thanks for being on the show thanks for having me and thanks for putting me on your graphic yeah it's a lot of fun yeah your name looks good on there Thank you. I like Your it. Your name looks better. What? Oh, you flatterer. Whatever. Everyone, uh, make sure that you uh, like our page and subscribe to the page and uh, heart emoticon things or smiley faces or whatever these kids do today. Um, there's a button probably over there. Uh, so please do that. Thanks, the, thanks so much. Again, my name is Samantha Garcia. And I'm Lewis Allen. And this has been The Front Page. Bye. <laughs>